All right, first things first. We will start by setting up your financial calculator. As you can see, most of the keys include a second function printed above them. For example, across the top row, we can see that the printed functions are quit, set, delete, and insert. However, you don't need to worry if you don't know what they all do. The Texas Instruments BA2 Plus comes preloaded with hundreds of functions. Fortunately, we only need to use a few of them. If we want to select a second function, we need to press second and a corresponding key. Now we should be able to see an indicator, which will appear on the upper left corner of the calculator display. Our first task is to set the number of decimal places. Currently, the calculator shows 0.00. .00. In other words, it displays two decimal places, that is, two symbols after the decimal point. For a significant part of the financial problems we will encounter, this setting would not be sufficient to obtain the correct answer. So, I advise setting the number of decimal places to at least four. Can you guess the reason I choose four decimal places? If we get 0.0722, we know we've got 7.22%. So, our accuracy, so to say, is one one hundredth of a percent, one basis point. That should be enough to answer all the questions you will face in the CFA or other exams requiring the use of a financial calculator. All right, let's set the number of decimal points to four. We press second plus format. Currently, it's equal to two. We press four and then enter to change the setting of the device and second quit to exit the setting. Great! There are a few additional details that we need to take care of before we're ready to move on. We have to set the calculator to end of period payment mode. It specifies that payments occur at the end of each payment period. Also, when you buy it, that's the default setting on the calculator. On the other hand, if that's not the case, then we need to press second, BGN, second, set, second, quit. You could easily recognize the payment mode of the calculator when you turn it on. If you see a BGN at the top of the display, then hit set to beginning mode and we need to change it. The only time we will use the BGN mode is when we solve annuities due. Okay, the next step that we have to do is set the number of payments per period, PY. Although, it's worth noting that the default setting is 12 on some versions of the calculator. So, this means that the device automatically converts the annual interest rate, IY, into monthly rates. While it is appropriate for many loan type problems, this setting is not suitable when we tackle the time value of money questions. So, please set the number of payments per period, PY, to one using this sequence of keystrokes. Second, PY, one, enter, second, quit. Excellent. Now, if we have a monthly payment, we'll use the monthly interest rate and N will be the number of months. If it's a quarterly payment, we'll use a quarterly interest rate, and N will be the number of quarters, and so on. Finally, let's choose which calculation method we will use. There are two of them. The first one is called CHN, which stands for chain method, while the second one is AOS short for the Algebraic Operating System. So, let's do a demonstration for each of them so you can understand the difference. When the calculator is set to the chain calculation method, it solves problems in the sequence in which they have been inserted. For example, when you enter 3 plus 2 multiplied by 4 equals, the answer would be 20 since three plus two 
is 5, and 5 by 4 is 20. When we choose the AOS mode, the calculator solves problems according to the standard rules of the algebraic hierarchy. In other words, it executes multiplication and division operations before addition and subtraction. For example, when you enter the sequence as before, the answer is 11, since 2 by 4 is 8 and 3 plus 8 is 11. To check which calculation method your device is using, press second, format, and then the up arrow at the top of the keyboard. If you would like to change the mode, press second, set, and then second, quit to exit the function. The calculation method to be chosen depends entirely on your preference. Most financial analysts use the chain method. That's also how we will use it throughout this course. Please bear in mind that if you decide to use it, the calculator can use parentheses. They allow us to assign the order of algebraic operations. Let's try to solve again the example we had earlier. So, 3 plus, open parenthesis, 2 multiplied by 4, close parenthesis, and then the equal sign gives us 11, which is the right answer. Okay, perfect. We are all set to go. Next, we will perform some basic calculations and examine some very useful techniques when working on the Texas Instruments BA2+. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.